sir, sit down. Bring down your voice. Sit down. Say, okay, your number. Zero, seven, zero. I don't think this is Photoshop. Oh. This is Tiobat. I guess. This is him now. This is him. But uh, he, what is flying now on social media is that he was beaten up beyond recognition. These are the pictures, you know. But I started doing my research, started trying to dig out before I post. Look at him here. Started trying to dig out before I post. Then I stumbled. I went to his account. I saw him on Facebook. His Facebook live now. His live now. So a few minutes ago. Look at him here. This is not Photoshop. This is him. You know, was beating black and blue, you know, and hospitalized. That is what is flying around in social media. So I went to his Facebook account. You can still go to his Facebook account and see him live preaching. Today is 18th and he's doing church service at the service. The time I posted this video, the service has been one hour long and he has been on live one hour long. So what is flying around now on social media that he is critically beaten and he is in intensive care in hospital. But anyways, that is not my our own take. Our own take is if he's in his church preaching at the moment, wow, that is that is quite something else because you know he has not disbursed and uh, people said he is not in the country a lot of rumors are flying around about him but this is him life this is him life in abuja there in a rock in rock ministry something something international you know this country is very funny these are people that should be held for not disbursing for collecting money from beneficiaries billions of money millions of dollars but he's free, he's preaching, he's preaching. So what can we do? Our country is so messed up. It's so messed up. And uh, we beneficiaries, there's nothing we can do because we don't have the means to take these people to court. The only people thing is that if we synergize and come together, we can do something. And that's what Madame Temito Bear is doing. You know, she's trying to do some people. She's not listening to anybody. And you can't blame her for not listening to anybody because like uh, other statesman was talking about her not listening to him if he come to think of it other statesman has been there he did not take any did not do anything now madame temitope has come you know they now want to rally around her you know to start advocating for her to start collecting money for her cause so you don't really blame Madame Temitope for not really calling people to assist her because if they start assisting her now, they will start telling us to pay. You know, but I was still thinking it's better she take these people to court. You know, going to CDHR, yes, it's good, but their power is limited. They don't really have this kind of legitimate authority to 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 bring somebody to book there there is a commission it's not a, a panel or uh, a, a, an agency that have this punitive power so if she could listen she take these people to court you know we don't have the means like when i say the means you know like we are beneficiaries like me i'm a beneficiary and I'm, I'm not an ngo i'm not a ceo so our power is limited we can only support we need somebody to come out with support and most of the ngos and ceos are not coming forth because they are in the middle they collect money from beneficiaries and give to the grant handlers so the money is not really coming out from their purse and if grand Vandler tell them that they need 20,000, they will tell beneficiaries that they need 40,000. So they collect the 20,000 on top. So it's like an organized crime in which they are benefiting. So for them to go and stop this menace means that they are stopping their means of livelihood. So the matter is kind of uh, too complicated. you know. So the best thing is for Madame Temitope to take a, leg, a, a legal procedure, not really an activist procedure, like going to all these uh, 
uh, commissions is to take Ken issue him a paper to come to court he has to come to court like you see now cdh harry he didn't go because they don't have any punitive measure to force him but if he takes ken to court ken must appear in court you know but another thing too when it comes to court it becomes come today come tomorrow so but the best thing is is the matter is not too clear court it's not too clear court because our system in Nigeria is, is not too straight. So guys, so the essence of this video is just to show you that we don't really know what is happening. If you know the correct situation of things, you just tell us. Tilbert has been said that he was beating black and blue it's in social media. Now, on my research, this is him live in his church. So let's just, let just keep our fingers crossed and see. And see. So guys, see you on the other side. Bye for now. I just say, let me share it with you. Tiobat is working for me. You know, there was a. I anyway, knew I will show you the clips that he said he was uh, he was injured, he was beaten. We don't know what is true, but what we know now is is him here live on Facebook. Is him here? You can see the logo. It's live on Facebook, and he has been live for up to three hours, one hour, something, something minutes. So guys, that is it, guys. That is it, guys. This is it. It's live on Facebook. Tiobat, live on Facebook. You know, and this church is uh, Earth on the Rock. Earth on the Rock. Earth on the Rock. Earth on the Rock International. 